<laughs> hey, you're up. Hi, my name is Liana McNeely, and I live in Florida, Spring Hill, Florida. And I was diagnosed two years ago um, with Alpha One, purely by accident. I um, had gotten uh, pneumonia, and I couldn't understand why I couldn't breathe, and, uh, and uh, I called the ambulance and I went to the hospital. But prior to that, I had been diagnosed with asthma. And they said I had asthma from smoking and um, I know I was taking inhalers and um, all kinds of uh, steroid treatments for the asthma. And they also thought that I had been having too much fun because my liver was not looking so good either, along with the lungs. So they thought, too much partying, drinking, smoking. And, and I just went along with that and said, OK, well, there's no more partying, smoking, drinking anymore. And um, when I went to the hospital, when I thought I had, uh, when I did have pneumonia, the um, doctor said, you look a little too young, and you don't appear to be an alcoholic or you know all the things that they were thinking before let me just test you for two things and I I don't remember what the other one was but it had to do with breathing and the other was alpha one and he tested me for the alpha one and the other uh, disease that he thought it could be and it he came to my room two days later and said I can't believe it but you have alpha one I was like, okay, well now we know what the problem is, but what is Alpha One? Because I'd never heard of it before. So um, he told me about it and brought me lots of literature and told me what can be done uh, to help me with the Alpha One and that I needed to see a pulmonologist immediately. And this doctor was trained at the University of Florida mm -hmm. by uh, Dr. Brantley. And um, I think his name is Dr. Wu, I'm not sure. But uh, it was just like a you know, beam went off and we were like, oh my God, we didn't, you know, we had no idea what the problem was. So it wasn't all of the things that we thought those things contributed, mm -hmm. but it wasn't the sole purpose of the problem uh, or the sole source of the problem. Um, so uh, immediately, my fiance, now husband at the time, we, we uh, got a doctor. And he said, oh, well, I got a pulmonologist in Spring Hill. And then my husband said, well, you're going to have to go to Shands, because Shands is the best place to go for uh, problems uh, that are unusual, like yours. So we went straight there, and that's where we met Dr. Randley. And I got a nurse, and uh, she comes to my house once a week and gives me the Zamera. And uh, I guess, uh, you know, it's just from there on, you know, I've stayed at the same stage. I think I, you know, I, over the year, I guess, over the two years, I think uh, the pneumonia kind of set me back a bit. Mm -hmm. But, uh, I'm dealing with it pretty nicely in my, and it really, really helps that uh, my husband is very helpful with it, and I have a fabulous nurse too. My parents, when I let them know what was going on, um, they got tested right away. They were very interested in finding out whether or not they uh, contributed to this, and they, of course, did. And I think they're both MCs. And uh, my brother got tested as soon as he could. He's also an MC. My daughter will not get tested because she just, you know, I think it scares her. Um, she, thank God, is doing okay, but has had a problem with the breathing. Um, but I think that may have been at that point because if she was around people that smoked, uh, she doesn't have the problem now, and then she's very athletic. And she's a vegetarian, so she eats well. She doesn't do things that can um, 
increase the problem. So that's about all you can do at that point, at stage. Anyway, even if you are, if you find out that you are. So I'm watching her. Okay. She's a grown up, but I still watch her. <laughs> okay. Um, my brother wants to have my daughter, or his, his daughter, I'm sorry, my niece tested. And she's going to be 16, but he's concerned about um, uh, insurance. Mm -hmm. And whether or not, this, if she is, will it follow her? And will she have um, a negative uh, um, mark on her insurance? You know, will, will they say, well, we can't uh, insure you because you tested for Alpha 1 and you have your MZ or ZZ, whatever she is. And he's very worried about that. So I talked to, of course, Dr. Branley again. And he gave us a solution as to how to handle that situation. And uh, in the meantime, I'm just got a new scooter. <laughs> so that uh, we can get around a lot easier. It's a lot more pleasant, I found. That I have the scooter. Um, it takes a lot mentally to get in it. After being a ballet dancer and gymnast and audiovisual engineer, you know, all these physical things that I've done all my life, to have to now sit down and scoot around, that's not still anything that I ever wanted to do. But uh, if I have to survive this way, that's the way I'm going to do it. And um, luckily, with the support of my family and the care that they give me, it's, it makes it uh, easier to deal with. <laughs>